Run through the tape is the standing order for the last days of the Obama administration. In the past week, we've seen a major and long lasting policy shift on Israel. Kevin Recork reported on new federal monuments a few minutes ago, and there are new 11th hour government regulations as we speak. Some of those could be very hard for President elect Trump to undo. Deneen Borelli, chief political correspondent for Conservative Review, Fox News contributor, Jessica Tarlov, Democratic pollster, senior political strategist for Shown Consulting. Ladies, uh, nice to see you. Good to see you. We have a little list from the Hill of more regulations possibly to come. Occupational safety, evidently, the Obama administration is upset about metal in water. Uh, forced arbitration in credit card bills, incentive based compensation for Wall Street. Uh, and they're going to restrict that. Uh, some stuff on stoves in, in terms of what your house stove can do to help the environment and regulations on organic meat. Uh, Jessica, I know that you, there's a much longer list that you would like to see. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Deneen, what's the point here? Some, a lot of these can just be undone come January 20th. No, you're absolutely right. I think uh, Obama is basically still having his little temper tantrum because Hillary lost and his legacy is going to be overturned once Donald Trump is in office. And if you look at the burden that these regulations, the cost of these regulations that have incurred on our uh, economy under Obama's watch, since he's been in office, over 20,000 regulations have been issued at a cost of a hundred billion dollars to our economy so our economy is limping along these regulations don't help and I do think Obama is trying to advance his left-wing agenda but yes they can be overturned under a president-elect big, big picture though Jessica is this the right way for President Obama to try to secure his legacy doing what he did with Israel at the UN all these new government regulations federal monuments or should he sort of say hey look Elections have consequences. I think I heard that line once before. And I'm going to just sort of gracefully end my last couple of months in office. Well, I don't know why it's not graceful to use your last 20 days. I mean, that's what he's entitled to, right? He won that election fair and square, and he's got the time. These regulations, yes, there have been huge costs, but if you take the stoves, you look at that over the course of the next 30 years, that's going to save Americans $11 billion. So there's a high cost right out of the gate, maybe, but down the line, it's going to help Americans. He's trying to protect us from environmental disasters in terms of Wall Street compensation. What he's looking at doing is the last enforceable rule from Dodd-Frank, which he's defended throughout his term. So I think that it makes sense to do it. Donald Trump can overturn it, and then there's the Congressional Review Act. So Congress can get involved. We're in the minority. We don't have a lot of uh, power left. And we have 20 days. So let us have it, please. Let us, let us have it, please. <laughs> But what's, what's good about this, from my perspective, is the Congressional Review Act, because this is something that Congress can vote on, Donald Trump can approve. They have 60 days of legislative, 60 legislative days in order to do so. So this really goes back to June uh, going forward. Right. So there is that opportunity. And again, Donald Trump is talking about rolling back regulations, get our economy moving. You know, with the... Uh, uh, but Deneen, it, 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 it's not just regulation. Some of these things can't be undone. You take, for example, what happened happened at the UN in the right. last couple of weeks of Donald Trump of Mr. Obama's presidency yeah. that can't be undone by Donald Trump because the, China and Russia and everybody else has a veto at the UN Security Council these things could have much longer implications than just the last 20 days Jessica absolutely and I mean we're seeing President Obama get major blowback from people on both sides there he doesn't are, seem to care he, no, why because he's golfing or whatever you're gonna say yeah I think that he does care I think he took that decision very seriously he sees it as a continuation of US policy and he wants to send a signal that if we want a two-state solution that Israel continuing to extend their settlements is not working towards that now listen as a an American as a Jew myself I'm conflicted about the entire thing and listening to Netanyahu yesterday say that if the Palestinians don't add base accept that there we have a right to exist here how are you ever going to have peace um, but yes I mean is there any anger among is the anger or justified, do you think, among Republicans that, that Mr. Obama is really changing U.S. foreign policy in a way that can't be rolled back? Well, I, I think it's outrageous how he is, is treating our allies. Uh, think about how he treated Benjamin Netanyahu. So it's okay to make new years. regulations, just not okay to do big foreign policy changes. I, I think what Obama is doing has made the world much more dangerous. What he has inserted himself in doing what happened in Israel by abstaining from the vote, I think he's just done a, a really, that uh, was a bad decision, I believe, on, on his part right. to Deneen, allow that to happen. Jessica, well, you might sort of agree with that part. It was a bad decision. <laughs> Janine, Jessica, thanks, ladies. Happy.